it's Andy from the SA Survival and today we are on the roof of the reflection and we are adding solar to the project and this is the Furion 165 panel and these are the two 200 watt panels and I'm trying to figure out how it's going to look I'm not quite sure if this one's going to be accepted by the wife um, I kind of want it up front and then these two side by side I will end up with a shadow from this at some point sort of partially on these two but again we can't get away with everything the wiring is going to be in series I've got this piece I'm going to talk about in a minute and so I'm going to have to go into the positive cable here so this is backwards right now because this length from this negative to positive does not fit and that's what this is going to come into this is going to be positive here to negative positive to the positive side in the trailer going down into the battery compartment i'm going to cut this positive because furion in their infinite wisdom have a different connector from the mc4 connections they have their own specific connections and i was going to unsolder this negative wire and I was going to solder in a new wire the downside is I don't want to muck around with the soldering so that's what this is about so I had this three splice wire that came in a kit that I bought for uh, adding MC4s and I didn't want to really modify the wiring too much so I put some heat shrink on here and put these two ends in the vise and the glue has waterproofed it which is amazing and again, these ends are waterproofed in here, which leaves this one exposed, uh, because if I need this in the future for so many, for whatever reason, I can just cut this end off. The MC4 is underneath of here. And then I just cable tied these together just to stop them from flapping in the wind. And then we'll secure them to the deck of the roof afterwards. Now I've got the wiring all wired up, so negative down to the battery positive down the battery positive going in and then it's going to go negative positive negative positive and you can see that splice there i'm going to tidy all this wiring up uh, but this is just for trials to see what's happening and now we've got everything in a serious circuit bear with the tools but that's what the outline might look like I ended up replacing these wires because I've repositioned the solar panel now on the trailer. I didn't quite like it on the front nose cone at the very front, so I've pulled it to the middle. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, I've taken these cables out and I've re-soldered them in to the solar control, well, the, the, the solar panel control, I guess, the solder joints. And because I'm using my extension cables, the ends are different. They're actually backwards. So I've used the black now which would be the ground is now the power and the red is now the black and the reason why is because these ends need to be the same if I get the right one you can see here this is actually a minus or negative negative so I had to make the red the negative and that's because the mc4s are the same direction everything sealed up these are nice and tight put the waterproof cover back on and again because it'll be facing down there shouldn't be anything getting inside of there either so I reconfigured the whole solar array so that's the fixed panel that came with the trailer I realigned this 200 to the back on the left hand side and we have a 200 on the front right hand side I eliminated the one or this one I should say from the very front nose cone didn't really like it uh, wired it all up in series and then secured the cabling with some corrugated tubing and then screwed it to the roof and sealed it as well as you can see it's all sealed with that die core self-leveling die core 
and then the same again with this panel as well it's all been sealed now and I actually did away with that Y piece that I had here because with me reconfiguring it the cables actually reached so I've got everything all secured and at the front because of that connection with the Furion I created my own and again sealed it with die core at the front stop it from flapping around and then underneath of the panel the cable is exposed but uh, it should be protected by the panels themselves so that's a very quick overview of my solar array installation so 565 watts of solar and it's already doing its thing i put the fridge on last night uh, i was drawing about four amps with everything else that's on and this morning when i woke up having the panels just sitting on the roof uh, not bolted down or anything i was actually drawing in at that time i think it was about 10 a.m this morning was five amps so draining four amps adding five amps on top of what it was supplying for the drain so around about eight to nine amps i'm guessing uh, so i'm looking forward to just trying this over the next couple of days because the weather seems to be uh, pretty consistent as you can see pretty clear day and that's what we had yesterday as well well thanks very much for watching this very quick video on our solar installation survive to be alive so a couple of weeks later i went out and tested the batteries overnight I'd arrived with 98% and in the morning I got 93% with a 10 watt gain and a 0.76 amps. A bit later on in the day we had 74 watts, 5.29 amps and it was increasing up to 95%. The day was actually pretty cloudy and overcast as you can see by this example. Later on the day we did have a little bit of sun coming out, uh, still 95% but we maxed out at 8.82 amps and 120 watts. Carrying on over the night again, uh, the next day I woke up after using all the heating to 92%. We were draining 11 amps and 146 watts because the fridge was on. And by the time I got to leave, we were down to 90%. So I was really happy with this test for the first time off grid over the weekend period. And this was all with the fridge and the heating and the lights. I was trying to camp normally without any restrictions on how we normally do our camping. Mm -hmm.